Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. In today's episode, we're traveling back to Incredible Tiny Homes Community to take a tour of Michelle's beautiful tiny container home. Michelle will explain why she decided to downsize to a container home, and you will hear how this lifestyle has provided her a new sense of comfort. I've been a single parent most of my life. It's been a, a struggle, you know, with money and worrying about money all the time. And knowing that I have this place that's my own, it means everything to me because it's a big stress off of me. And I love my home and I would not change anything about it. But before we get started, if you like videos like this one, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new tour. Hi, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my container home. Before I moved into the tiny house, I was living in Indiana and my youngest son was living with me and we lived in a three bedroom ranch style home. I paid about $1,200 mortgage and then all the utilities. Living in that home by myself after my son moved out, why am I living in a three bedroom ranch when I could be not paying all the bills that I paid? So I decided, why not go tiny? I was interested in the eight by 24 tiny home, but when I went in, it just didn't feel like me. So my son pointed to a container home, we went over and looked at it, and I was sold as soon as I walked in. I loved the space that is in a container home, and I love that the bedroom is on the ground floor. So Randy Jones at Incredible Tiny Homes here in East Tennessee built the container. It took about a year to build. I paid $55,000 for the container and that included everything you know in it the cabinets and the sink and the plumbing and everything like that. I pay a $200 lot fee and it's $25 for water and my electric bill runs about anywhere from $40 to $50. That's basically my bills. I've been a single parent most of my life and I've raised two kids. It's been a, a struggle you know with money and worrying about money all the time. And knowing that I have this place that's my own and that I don't have to worry about money is everything to me. It means everything to me because it's a big stress off of me. And I absolutely am blessed to be here and I love my home and I would not change anything about it. So welcome to the outside of my shipping container home. I live here with my two cats, Silo and Skye, who are in the window visiting right now. They love to stay here and look out the window and look at birds. So the house is 40 feet by seven and a half feet. It's a high cube and I wanted part of it metal and then the other part is wood with sick and stain on it, which I love. It gives it more of that homey feel. It has a metal roof. It's slanted so that the rain can drain off. It has gutters also, so the rain drains on either side of the house instead of coming in front of the house and flooding. I had this porch built and I love hanging out here and sipping my coffee in the morning. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I first moved in as far as the front goes, but I looked on Pinterest and got some ideas and I came up with a dry riverbed, which I absolutely love. It took a lot of hard work it looks really beautiful in the summer because I have a lot of flowers. So I have a 10 gallon propane tank which just heats my water only and I have to refill it probably about maybe three times a year. So I went with the wood skirting and it ties in well with the porch that I just finished staining. So now let me show you the inside of the house. Come on in. So, welcome to the inside of my house. When you come in the door, you will be in the living room, which is probably one of my favorite spots of the house because it's so cozy. 
The house is only seven and a half feet wide, but with the furniture and everything in here, it really doesn't feel that, that small at all. And I think one of the big reasons is I chose to go with part drywall and then the rest wood because with all wood, it really narrowed the space. So this really opens it up, plus there's a light color on the wall. I love that I have ample wall space to be able to put all my knickknacks on. I had the options of choosing where I wanted to put my window and I wanted a small window up here originally for the cats to jump up and be able to look out. Here's Sky my cat. We love to snuggle on the couch in the evenings, so that's another favorite thing we love to do. So this is basically holds all my shoes and winter coats. Some of my shoes are in my bedroom. Girl can never have too many shoes. And then this hold, they're all stuffed in here, but it holds my most of my winter jackets. It doesn't get too cold here. So I love this fireplace here. You can either just put it on the fire flame and not have heat, but in the winter, it really puts off a lot of heat. This container really holds the heat. So even in the winter time, I only put it on 68 with my mini split that I have that provides me air condition and heat. And I don't really need much. Sometimes I have to turn it off because it gets so, so warm in here, but this works very well. In the summer, it does not take much to cool it either. The mini split works very, very well. I love the space because I'm able to sit and watch TV, visit with friends. I even eat here most of the time. I love to look out the window and I'm glad I chose that I have this sliding glass door here because it even opens up the space more. Welcome to my back patio. I love this space because I get to come out here in the morning and sit in my hammock and drink coffee and in the evening I can look at the fire pit and my chiminea. I love to entertain out here and have friends over. I love the space because I love to garden. In the summer I have a lot of flowers around the backyard and I have a nice vegetable garden. The doors are fixed open so that I can have this space, otherwise they would be closed, but I wanted them open so that I could have a nice little patio to sit and enjoy. Welcome to my kitchen. This is probably my favorite spot of the house. When I designed the house, I wanted ample counter space, which I have. I wanted the butcher block countertops, and I just finished staining them again to make them shiny. I think it looks very nice. I have a dish rack, and I love this because when I do my dishes, I can put them right up here, and it has a tray to hold the water. So that is a plus. Over here, I have my table that serves as my work spot. I work from home, so I just put my computer here in the morning and take it down in the evening. Actually, really, this is my cat's table. They love to hang out here. I can flip this side up over here if I want to seat. I can seat about six people. It has drawers on either side, which I hold a lot of things in there, cat snacks. That's why he's looking in the drawer. And over here, is my pantry, which I absolutely love. I covered the doors in like a peel and stick that I got off Amazon to hide all of my food in there. So I have a lot of things in there. Since I love to cook, I wanted a good size refrigerator. It's actually a normal size refrigerator. It just looks huge because it's on this drawer here, which holds my pots and pans. I had an apartment size refrigerator when I first moved in and it just wasn't big enough to hold all my vet fresh vegetables and meats and stuff like that. So I purchased this and I'm very happy with it. If you come down this way, I have a two burner stovetop, which works very well. It's electric, of course. And when I have to cook with another burner, I have another burner down here in this drawer that I can just put up here and use that. I also have a microwave and I have a Black & Decker oven that toasts, broils, and bakes. And I just bring that out and put it on top of the counter when I need to use it. The only thing I would change if I could would be I would want a bigger sink. The sink is kind of small, but it does the job. Come on back with me and we'll go to the bathroom. I really love this bathroom because I designed it to make it big enough to fit everything that I need, like my washer and dryer. I have a Magic Chef 
washing machine, which is small but mighty. It can really do a good load of laundry. And then I have a, an also a, a Magic Chef dryer and it dries very well. The shower is a 36 inch shower. It's plenty big for me. I also hold the litter box in here and I just covered it with a piece of wood to kind of hide it. And then their food is in here as well. The toilet's a regular flushable toilet. And then here, I did change out the sink when I moved because it was very small and I couldn't even, you know, wash my face. But I got this from Lowe's and it even has a cabinet here underneath that I can hold litter and cleaning supplies. And I did decide, actually, it was the builder's decision um, and it was a good decision to kind of break up the space from the living room and kitchen and then the bathroom be all wood, which I really like and then you know onto the bedroom to match the kitchen and living space so now we're in the bedroom this is a seven and a half by nine it's perfect for me because I wanted it to be a little bit smaller so it would feel cozier I went from a queen bed down to a full which is perfect for me and the cats this one Sky, he's my snuggler on the couch and then Silo, the other cat, he sleeps with me right about here at my head. So he takes up half the bed basically because he sleeps right here so I can't really roll over. But when I designed the room, I wanted to be able to fit a closet in here. It was important to me to be able to hang my clothes up. My off-season clothes I store under my bed in some containers. Since this is the end of the house, the tongue is on the other side of the wall. I wanted a small window to be able to leave open at night to let the fresh air in. The only thing I would change about this room is I would have gotten a air exchanger put in because it has a lot of condensation against this wall only. So I just, you know, that's what I would do differently in here. And since the mini split is basically in the living room kitchen area, I chose to get a window unit here um, for the summertime and it works very well. It is a challenge to get air flow to come back here. So that's why I wanted to get an air condition unit. So with the fan on and the air condition and then the mini split going, air circulates very well through here. I bought this picture probably four years ago. I've been here almost three years and that's been my inspiration because I knew that I wanted to live tiny so I hung it right where I would see it when I wake up every morning. When people say you know you have less stuff I still have plenty of things in here. It's not that I am missing out on anything but just knowing that I have the financial freedom is everything to me. I want people to know that you can do anything you set your mind to. And if you want to go tiny and you're afraid, put that fear aside and just take that leap of faith because it is so worth it. Follow your heart and you won't be sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more home tours that are located in incredible tiny homes community, make sure you check out the links in the description.